relied on other people to get me out of bed, to get me dressed, to brush my teeth, and not a lot of control. This car, driving it, is very intuitive, it's very natural. Really, it's the first time in about 16 years uh, that I felt normal. Arrow called me, you know, wanting to know if I'd be interested in driving again. I think I thought for two seconds and said yes, absolutely. And so uh, throughout the last, you know, two years, we've been, uh, this is the second version of the car. With each progression, just like the technology industry, the car gets better, the handling gets better, the controls get better, and we get faster. The latest version is simple, very intuitive. Uh, I wear glasses that have uh, beacons on them, and they track my head. So when I turn left, the car turns left. Turn right, car turns right. It's fully programmable, tight turns, slow turns, fast turns, and then I have a straw in my mouth that I, I blow on to go. And I suck to stop. So it's all integrated into their computers. That messaging goes to their computers. The computers then go to the car and tell it what to do instantaneously. This technology has an enormous amount of applications, not just vehicular driving, which it can do anything, but I mean, over the road trucks, trains, medical devices, uh, farm equipment, um, and other, in other industries are now looking at this application to be able to use it everywhere. Uh, we started out on track, then we went to road courses, but earlier this year I did 152 at Indy, and then I did Pikes Peak Hill Climb, 156 turns, and uh, next month I'll be taking my driver's test in Las Vegas on real city streets.